Hey guys, it's FIFAVIC for Mystery Gamers TV doing my race to Division 1. We are in Division 7, aspiring for Division 6 right now. And uh, your comments have led me to today's team choice, which is Aston Villa. A uh, comment in a previous episode said do Aston Villa, so that's what happens. So put in your comments who you want me to do. Um, I think I remember the guy in the comments saying he want me to do Aston Villa because of the beast that is Hesky, the legend that is Hesky. So we are going with that. We're going to stick Hesky in. Um, we're going four four two. We've got Agonha on the left and Zogby on the right. Janus and Petrov in the middle. Hesky and Bent up front. And uh, we're going to get straight into a game here. Uh, so yeah guys, I basically I'll play with the teams you tell me to play with, so just put in the comments um, who you want me to be. Ideally someone, not someone appalling. Uh, as you can see the game's going crazy here because S Hesky's actually managed to score. Everything goes a little dark for a while when the big man steps up. Um, I saw this, <laughs> the ball just rolls to the guy and the last thing I was expecting was that. But that's actually why the guy has actually got really good stats, I checked him out after. Uh, Shemshov. Semshov? Semyov. Semshov? Someone tell me how to say that. But he's got an amazing set of stats actually, to have everything 80 like that is actually really solid. And that's why he just whipped one into my net with, uh, I didn't even have a chance to blink. Um, Darren Bent, for this whole episode, had me raging so mad. I mean, what was that chance there? What on earth was he playing at? I, d I don't get it. Annoying. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for some more Bent fails in this episode. Absolute carnage. Uh, we managed to get another one with Zogbia to take us back up to 2-1. And then he managed to miss a couple of chances. Uh, Voronin. Do you all remember Voronin off of Liverpool? And that is why they got rid of him, guys, shooting like that. When he actually got a game, that was. So we managed to hold on to it um, with that goal, 2-1. Hesky popping up with a big goal uh, to seal it for us. Uh, there are the stats. It's a pretty solid game, pretty standard game. He could have possibly done better with those chances, and if Bent was capable of kicking a ball towards goal then I've had one as well so crazy times so we'll get straight back in uh, Aston Villa other than having the almighty Esky don't have too much in the way of a great side they were better when they had like Young and people like that and this is one of those games guys where it just goes from bad to worse you see that goal? you see that miss? Come on, Ben, sort yourself out. That was the miss, guys. And that was Campbell scoring his. The bar steward. Um, yeah, it's one of those games where everything that went wrong went wrong. And not to mention, the guy was an absolute... Oh. He, just to give you an example, he was playing music down his microphone the entire match. He was that sort of guy. You've played him, you know who I'm on about. Uh, you can see in the top right there, he was playing music all the way through. Uh, yeah, gotta say, I gotta say, it worked for him because it put me off my stride big time. <coughs> but we endeavoured and we carried on going and going and going in this one, despite leaking goals for fun. Hesky steps up, and that is why he's got so many England caps. Um, Nothing was going, nothing was going right for us at all in this game. Uh, and everything was going perfect for him, he did really well, the guy. Um, and so that is how that one finished. 4 nil stuffing from a retard. With Hesky, Ben and co unable to kick the middle of the ball properly. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to take some of the blame, I guess. Oh, just a little bit, oh, I don't know. Or maybe it was on my fault. I don't know. I had more shots than him. More possession. 
But uh, he thumped me. He thumped me, to be fair. So we'll go at it again. We'll have another go with Aston Villa, as we do one club for the whole episode. So if things aren't going good, we've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Um, I give very, very tired. Um, I bring in Gardner, because um, he's got good long shots. And um, I try Agbon Lahore and then Zogbia just to the side of Bent in a 4-3-3 styly. Just for uh, shears and gigs. And uh, we get into a game against Stuttgart. And uh, I was pretty pleased to be playing Stuttgart. I was like, who do they got? Who do they, who do they have that's of any use to anyone? And uh, it turns out they've got some okay players. <laughs> Kakao is one. Such player. Uh, this is an epic fail by me. Uh, just doing a little chip out, and then I just passing it away, and the guy gets sent off. So now we're playing Pappy Little Stuttgart, uh, and we're playing against ten. So he was off. Um, but again, no matter what we did, no matter what we did, we just couldn't get it in the get in the net again. It was just one of those games, even against ten men. I don't know what we were doing wrong. I mean, check that sh out. Check it out. What's going on in that clip there? What's with the shooting, man? I mean, I'm not Alex McLeish. Are they doing it because of me? I was virtually having a breakdown at the point when this guy scored. Um, especially when I hit the crossbar again. Uh, this is nice. This cheered me up. A little tramp fail. But our shooting problems continued. <laughs> and uh, it just rambled on no matter what we did. No matter what we did, we could not score. Uh, he scored again. <laughs> Things are going very, very well at this point. I have uh, the Samaritans on speed dial at this point in the clips. And he gets another one. That was poor defending. I'm not going to run or hide from anything there. Uh, and we eventually get on back. Through Dunn. Perhaps like, we need to cross it more, I don't know. <laughs> it was crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what teams you want me to play. We will get into the next division next episode, I promise. I'll be in Vic. Cheers, guys.